This year's Lions Fish Derby wraps up today to a huge turnout. ABC 7's Kate Flexter was there and joins us live in the studio with the details. Kate? That's right, Alex. This year's catch was a little smaller than last year, coming into 429 lionfish. But as for the crowd, it was the biggest to date. 241. One by one, volunteers measured and recorded the height, width, and weight of each and every lionfish, all part of Moat Marine Laboratory's annual lionfish derby. The lionfish is an incredibly invasive species, mainly because it has no real predators. But as a predator itself, it's a major threat to Florida's native species and ecosystems. In heavily invaded areas, the lionfish has reduced fish populations by up to 90 percent. They're very fast reproducing, they're venomous, and they can eat a lot of native fish. Um, and they've caused some native fish populations to really decrease in invaded areas. During the derby, divers try to keep that growing population under control, competing to spear as many of the fish as they can. Anytime I'm out spear fishing, I'm always looking for a large concentration of lionfish so I can go back and harvest them during a tournament. And to keep all of that fish from going to waste, local restaurants prepared and served unique dishes featuring the invasive species. We can't put the lionfish on our menu always because it's a very inconsistent thing with the spear guys. Um, but when we can and we have it on our menu, Menus, you know you, you're cooking something you really feel good about and that's awesome. All of the dishes were big hits. It's a nice white meat and light on the side so it's really good. But it was also an opportunity for scientists. This gives us more specific information. We know these fish are voracious. We know that they eat a wide variety of prey items. Basically anything they can fit into their mouth is what it seems and nothing is eating them. Those scientists not only measured the fish, but also studied the DNA content of their stomachs, determining what the lionfish are eating and which species may be in danger. And by doing this, we'll be able to know how much of what is in the lionfish diet is specifically related to those species that we value the most uh, commercially and recreationally. While this year's total catch was smaller than last, the winning team set the record for largest catch from any one team. Alex?